Hi everyone, this is Melinda from MTZ Crew Designs. Welcome back to another tutorial from the Pan Couture Creative Team. Today I'll show you how I converted this armoire that I picked up from Marketplace into a fully functional cabinet utilizing iFlex wood products and Pan Couture paints. Okay, let's get started. This armoire was already divided into two pieces, so I'm saving the bottom portion for a separate project in the future. Meanwhile, the top portion of the armoire did have a back panel that had a hole cut into it. And since I won't be needing that huge gap, I decided to install a new hardboard back panel. Um, I had the new panel cut down to size at my local hardware store. And so now it's much more functional. Next, I installed these gold hairpin lugs to the base for just a fun design element. And the entire piece was cleaned with fresh start and it was given a good scuff sand with a 180 grit sanding paper. The first thing I'm doing is adding a raised stencil using Paint Couture's embossing medium and this stencil from Redesign with Prima, and it's called CC Floral Matrix. I'm just using a plastic spatula to spread it across the stencil. So this particular stencil is a really nice choice for the other design elements that I'll be adding. Next, I'm going to start applying the iFlex wood products. I'm starting off with this scroll pediment. Um, it's number 1364, and I'm going to put this at the top in the center of the cabinet. I'm using tight bond wood glue to adhere it to the surface. I just apply a thin layer of glue all over the back of the applique, and when I push the applique down to the surface, I hold it for about 30 seconds. These appliques aren't too heavy, so I don't need to use any type of clamp or painter's tape to hold them down. And this glue is a phenomenal choice for uh, gluing these appliques down. As you push down on the appliques, you may start to see some of the wood glue seeping out from underneath. Um, I like to use a slightly damp artist brush to wipe away any excess glue from the edges in this scenario. And now I'll do the same for these floral scroll appliques. These are number 1388 and 1389. They're sold in a pair and they are absolutely gorgeous. There are just so many design possibilities with these. And now I'm applying two of the leaf vine appliques to the bottom outside corners of the doors. These are number 3443, and there's going to be one on either side, and they fit just nicely here on the edges. I'm also applying these other flower appliques to the doors. Um, these are a beautiful touch and they're actually going to pair wonderfully with the overall design of the cabinet. And there's just enough space in the cabinet to add so much pizzazz with these appliques. Um, they just really give the project a huge upgrade and um, glow up, I guess you could say. <laughs> Once all of the iFlex wood appliques are dry and secure to my piece, I painted over them with chalk style paint in pitch black. This is going to provide an illusion of depth and dimension once I apply additional paint colors. And as you can see, I painted over um, the appliques and even onto my piece, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because the painting technique that I'm going to use will have a lot of dimension and texture. And I'm going in with Tuscan Sun now as my base color. This is from the acrylic mineral line and it already has a built-in primer and top coat. And then I'll follow up with Caribbean Coral and Polynesian Pink. Um, I'm applying my paint in various directions and I'm using my water misting bottle sparingly just to kind of move my paint at different times. So now this is where the color application starts to take on a new life. 
Once the base layers of color are dry, I'm actually gonna go in with Dark Sea. It's also from the Acrylic Mineral line. And I'm just gonna apply that everywhere, all over the cabinet, on the sides, on the centers, all over, except for the top. I'm saving the top for something totally different at the end here. Then in the center of the doors and on the sides of the cabinet, I'm blending the colors sea glass and guac and roll. It's a very rough blend. I'm not looking for perfection because I want an abstract and grungy feel to this piece. So my ultimate goal here is to have these bright pinks and oranges and yellows underneath, just be like a hidden element underneath the blues and the greens. Now, on the top of the cabinet, I don't want to leave it look completely bare, but I wanted to give it a different look. So I'm actually using Pink Couture's Metallic Glaze in Brocade Gold. However, I'm not going to be wiping this glaze back. Instead, I'm applying even layers, omitting any harsh brush strokes, and I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours to fully dry. I just want the look of a gold shimmer stain on the top of this cabinet, and this metallic glaze is a perfect option for that. Now that I have my paint where I want it, I'm going to paint over the tops of the iFlex wood appliques with Paint Couture's Luxe Metallic Paints just to give it that extra pop. I'm using Antique Gold, which is actually my absolute favorite gold paint, and I'm just kind of brushing it along the raised portions of each applique. In addition to the wood appliques, I'm also applying antique gold to the embossing medium that we use to create the raised stencil effect. I'm using this painter sponge to apply it by gently gliding the uh, sponge across the raised areas. This is one of my favorite ways to use a painter sponge. I just put the gold paint onto the sponge and just glide it across the raised um, embossing medium and it's a really cool effect um, you don't have to worry about it getting all over your piece because your raised embossing medium is the only portion that's actually going to pick up the paint for the most part but it's a really cool effect And finally, I'm applying this beautiful IOD transfer. It's called Japonica, and it's a rather large transfer. So I've actually cut it up into various pieces and I'm applying it throughout the cabinet. And here's another glimpse of the cabinet at each angle. I just love how it turned out. I love how the bright yellows, oranges, and pinks are peeking through underneath the blues and the greens. And the colors play so well off of each other. Um, and all of the iFlex appliques coordinate so nicely with the transfer and the color scheme overall. Oh, and as one final surprise, I did add this Dragonfly applique. It's also from the iFlex wood product line, um, and it just went really nicely with the design here. And here is my completely redesigned armoire to cabinet conversion project. And that wraps it up for today's tutorial. Again, I'm Melinda with MTZ Crew Designs. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And if I've inspired you to create with any of iFlex wood products or any of Paint Couture's paint products, please feel free to use my affiliate link that will be located down below, along with a full list of all the products that I use today. Or you can scan this QR code and it will take you directly to the website. 
Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the amazing content that our Paint Couture creative team is putting together for you. Have an awesome day, everyone. Thanks. Bye.